In Canada, there is nearly 1.2 million small businesses. According to Stats Canada, in 2013, 85% of businesses that enter the marketplace survive one full year. 70% survive for two years, and 51% survive for five years. What could account for the demise of so many potential startups? My guess is innovation. Innovation is the process of creating and bringing something of value. It could be a new product feature, improved functionality of a platform, or an all-encompassing app for all your needs. Every startup begins with innovation. If not properly nurtured, it could go terribly wrong. So how do we innovate? We will look at two possible ways. Innovation, it can happen the incremental way and when something gets better and better over time by adding new features and making changes to something that already exists. Or innovation can be disruptive in which something is new and changes society. Crowd acceleration is one other way to innovate. It taps into the vast global community and takes advantage of their willingness to share their multitude of ideas and skill sets. Not to mention, their motivation that drives these crowds is essential for improving your startup ideas. Platforms like YouTube are a great medium for accessing large crowds of people with the same desires like YouTubers, artists, educators, all who by sharing their ideas often lead to the evolution of cultural trends. Now let's take a closer look at the DMZ at Ryerson University. The DMZ is the number one business incubator in all of Canada to start a company. So how does the DMZ operate? It educates by teaching digital skills to students. It ideates by helping students come up with viable ideas. It incubates by validating prototypes and seeking customers, and it accelerates by providing possible funding for the business. Meet some of the innovators of the DMZ. This is Steph, the marketing manager of Chatter Research. Chatter Research is an AI-powered customer feedback tool. So essentially what we do is we do conversational surveys over text message. So we engage your customers either through a QR code, an NFC tab, um, or we can plug into your CRM system to engage your customers on the spot while they're in your store or in your restaurant. And then we provide real-time analytics um, based on that feedback to provide insights about what your customers are actually thinking while they're in your store and to nail down what their behavioral paths are like. So why the DMZ? Um, I would say that the DMZ offers a really interesting community ecosystem of startups um, and support. I know we've been invested in by RFI, which is um, definitely a good thing for us to be able to have this type of space and the close encounters that we have every day. I think that really feeds into our team culture. Um, good scotch is great. Pancakes are fabulous. Uh, all jokes aside, I actually do think that really adds to like, having a supportive system because it really allows you to get to know who you're working with and interact with other startups who are doing similar things. Um, and that obviously plays into making your product all that more stronger, um, building the connections that you need with the ecosystem to make it succeed. When innovating, you don't want to go straight to the solution. First, you need to find a problem that you want to fix, then think of the user while targeting one demographic and a possible solution. Then, you need to gather some feedback and iterate. And of course, after coming up with a solution, always remember the 10x principle. Your innovation must be 10 times better than any other product before it. <laughs>